Hi guys, I'm back um, and I have another haul today. I got about 18 items from the thrift store last Friday. Um, I went up there, I went up to Fort Wayne, which is about an hour away from me um, for a half price sale. Um, and I got 18 items. My mom also uh, gave me a couple items and I bought out a reseller's inventory. So this is going to be a pretty big haul. And I will try to tell you where I got everything um, while I'm going through it. Okay, the first item is a Kimmy and Ken, which is sold at Anthropology. It's one of their actual exclusive brands, not one of those sometimes sold at Anthropology brands. Um, this is a size small. It's a teal and maroon button down um, tunic with has side slits. And I think all the items on the top are from the half off sale. Um, this is a loft tunic with huge square pockets. Um, this would be really cute with booties and black leggings. Um, this is the loft older tag, but I went ahead and picked it up because it is a petite. And I think that this is also still in style. Like that green arm jacket type stuff. Um, this is an Under Armour tank top that says never back down. Um, I still list these in my Poshmark closet, but after a while, um, if they're listed for a long time, I take them to the local consignments um, and they always buy Under Armour, Nike, North Face, um, Adidas, any kind of athletic sports brand they will pretty much buy. Um, and I will usually make more money even there. There's also a pop-up consignment that I do that happens every six months and um, there's no limit. You price everything yourself. You're not limited to what you can bring. Um, it does have to pass like their check, make sure there's no holes, stains, whatever. Um, I also drop that stuff off and there's one coming up in March. So even if that isn't anything I can sell on Poshmark, I've been picking up some of that stuff because I will sell it there. Um, this is an Altered State cropped bell sleeve off the shoulder top. It is a size medium. And I picked this up because to me it brought like spring break vibes. And you know, spring break's coming, there's only a couple weeks, so I am getting all my shorts and summer spring stuff out in my closet. Um, this is a Vineyard Vines striped shirt with a white pocket. And it's a size small. And some of this stuff will not bring a lot of money in, but Vineyard Vine stuff always sells, even if it's for $15, I'm still making money. Um, this is an American Eagle chambray button down. And it has this quilted embroidered patch on it, um, which I liked. And it does have a left pocket. This is a North Face zip up small jacket. Um, it is purple and hot pink. Um, I don't always pick up North Face because most of the time when I see it, it's usually pretty trash. But this is a newer North Face jacket. Um, that is in really good, like, new condition. This 
is a bullhead, which I know bullhead is only sold at like PacSun and they're not too expensive, but the style of this is super cute. It's like an Aztec Western embroidered cut off jean jacket vest. Okay, this is really cool. It is a small Harley Davidson tank top. Um, and there's a Harley Davidson logo. And um, I actually worked for a Harley dealer for six years. So I know a lot about Harley Davidson clothes um, and how much they retail for. And um, now it's kind of been a fad for younger generation to just wear it not even motorcyclists to have it um so i always pick it up this is actually one of their made in america tags um and a black label which means that it was made in america um anything with this long black tag So this, usually these tank tops even have around $60 retail mark since they're the Made in America ones. Um, and this one has a really cool detail. Um, it has a sugar skull down the side. So like, if you had like a tank top on that was like a bright color, you'd be able to see that. And I'll probably have to input a picture of the sugar skull face, but I was excited to find that. And I actually find Harley stuff a lot. Um, Harley is pretty big in this area. And um, people give me stuff. And I just have a lot. I owned a lot of it. So this is an Under Armour blue size medium v-neck. And this, I've never picked up this brand before, and I heard it's kind of going out, but this is a Kalia by Carrie Underwood, size small, or medium, athletic tank. Um, this one has ribbed sides, which you can't really see on the video, and um, her little logo's on the back. I've actually found a couple of these. This is a fossil size medium. Um, chambray popover. Um, this one actually I didn't know until I got it home. It has a tiny ink stain that I'm going to try to get out um, with some probably nail polish remover. Um, but I usually sell these for like 20 to 30 bucks. And this one does have like kind of, I don't know if you can see, it's like little raised dots on the button. Kind of makes it cute. This is another Under Armour tank. It's just a light blue one. Workout tank. Um, this shirt is only from Old Navy, but I always pick up band tees, especially if they're new. This one was new with tags, but I washed it. Um, this is the Who band v-neck. I probably get 15 or $20 for that. And I only got one pair of pants um lucky brand and these are the newer label they have the leather on the back um this is a sophia boot cut and it's a size two um i have not been picking up lucky brand um i find it all over the place for pretty cheap um but the newer tags I will pick up and then the older ones the consignment stores here will take okay and I got three pairs of shoes 
I got these Matty Crepe Wedges. They're from Donald uh, Pliner. I looked up the style and they have like a little patent leather patch on the back. Um, these actually have already sold. Um, I posted them a couple days ago and they sold. Um, these are coach suede like loafer penny loafer style wedges um and they still have the tj maxx tag on them so i picked them up and the suede is all in good condition usually when i find coach shoes they're like super tore up and way marked up but those were not um these are Crown Vintage, which it really isn't that big of a brand or anything, but the shoe was just so cute. Um, they're olive green booties with these little beading detail and the flowers and the embroidery is just super cute. So that is it for the thrift store haul. Now, um, we're getting into the inventory that I bought from another posher. Um, and I will say, you got to be careful. Um, you got to look at the person's reviews. You actually have to be careful, even people on YouTube's boxes that you buy. Um, because I've heard several people ended up with junk. I've ended up with junk. Um, it just happens. Um, when you tend to buy boxes from other people, um, you have to look at their reviews and I feel like you kind of have to follow people to know which ones give the good mystery boxes. Um, the first item I got is a Rails chambray button down and it does have a grease spot and it's actually not visible to your eye, but then when I put it under my ring light, it is visible. So, I am going to soak that in some Dawn. Um, and I paid between 5 and $3 for these items. Um, I pay up for items sometimes, but if I'm buying out of someone's closet, I try to get, you know, as much as I can for as little as possible. And I try to buy the brands that are harder to find here in Indiana. Um, I've actually never found rails, um, but my mom has, and she kept it for herself to wear. Um, this is a Wild Fox St. Thomas tank top crop, and I thought that would go good for spring break. Um, a Patrons of the Peace tank top quilted, size small little boho tank BDG um, which is Urban Outfitters floral jeans um, these are a size 27 and 30 inches long I just really like the floral print um, these are a pair of Tory Burch um, capris, um, and I did look up what they were called, but I cannot remember. They're black, and they have this really detailed floral embroidery on them. And they're also a bigger size. They're a size 30. And I do have a stock picture of those. I can put it. Um, this is a Free People size extra small green skater dress, um, and it does have kind of like a lace look. It's got like texture. Um, I also have an Anthropology pair of jeans that have almost the identical textured feel, um, and pattern. <laughs> Yeah. 
This is a Sparrow by Anthropology um, vest with pockets. This is a cabbie, um, and cabbie I only pick up the new tag now unless it's like I found a couple um, animal print and they were on the old tag, um, but the square tag like this is the new tag. And then this has a back slit detail that goes all the way up. So it makes it kind of different and it's a cute pattern for spring. This is a Bowden sequent pocket long sleeve. I always try to get something that's different like pattern wise or something that catches people's eye like Bowden usually you know has simplistic styles but I really like that that shirt has a sequin pocket. Um, this is a longer um, three quarter sleeve and this is a postmark by Anthropology size extra small like a dress shirt. I would wear this back when I had to dress up for work. Um, and it does have a zippered back. Um, when I buy out people's closets, I look for a lot of anthropology because there's only one anthro store in the state of Indiana. And um, there is free people and anthro brands sold at like the higher end department stores. Um, but there isn't an actual, there's only one anthro store. Same with Nordstrom. We only have one Nordstrom in the whole state. So in Indiana, people don't like to uh, dress up very much. In designer clothes, I guess I should say. Um, this is an 11Zs, which is anthropology, like blazer with this cute button detail. And this is a size 4. Um, these are a pair of Adriana, Adriano Goldsmith jeans, um, and this is the cigarette leg ones. These do have a little bit of bubbling in the crotch area, um, or in your closet, but I will still sell these. Um, they are the cigarette leg, so they are... One of the more popular styles. Um, and the last thing I got is a pair of page jeans. And page jeans is known for kind of rippling in the crotch. It's always good to check out because, you know, a lot of girls rip the their thighs out of their jeans. Or there's rubbing. Or, you know... For some reason, that area is always really important to check. <laughs> um, but these are the Jimmy Jimmy Skinny. Um, and I have a couple of pairs of these in my closet right now. Um, these are a size 26. And these are in, like, new condition. Okay, and there's only three items that my mom got me. She got this Romeo and Juliet Couture velvet jacket. It's kind of like a corduroy. Um, with zippers and it's like a moto jacket. It's really cute. Um, and she got me this Stitch Fix um, 
collective concepts it still has these stitch fix tags on it um sheer floral shirt which will be good for spring i really like having patterns or stuff that's different so um this is an eileen fisher quilt like a patchwork um with frayed edge size large jacket um and eileen fisher runs big i would say most of the time their large is really an extra large um it has these huge front pockets um but her stuff is very comfortable um but it is expensive so there's that and then I have been trying to work on going through my own personal closet um, and also going through stuff that I bought that has not been listed. Um, and this is just some stuff I added to the closet, so I figured I would include it in the haul. Um, this is a level street level, which is sold at Nordstrom um little pocket wristlet it's actually pretty big it's not little it's probably about the size almost of a notebook um it does have some wear to the turn um closure but it is made out of recycled rubber and cork which i thought was pretty cool um To me, it made me think of Coachella. Um, this is from my personal closet. Um, I used to work at a bank and I wore a lot of dress clothes. So this is just a Marisa's dress shirt. Um, it does have like a tie front and it's like a three quarter sleeves. It's sheer, but it has like this bright colored triangle pattern on it. Um, and this Marisa's stuff takes forever to sell on Poshmark. Um, I wouldn't recommend picking it up to put on your page, but if you already have it and you're cleaning out your closet, that is a good thing to add. Um, this is from a haul I did a while back, but it had to be fixed. So now that it's fixed, this is just an Athleta um, with a thumb hole, long sleeve. I did some retail arbitrage a while ago and never, I went ahead and downloaded the pictures online of what the stock photos look like and I put them in my patch closet as inactive and never took photos of the items and I realized this the other day. So I went back and added all these um, to them. This is the Sweetheart Free People v-neck um, and it's new with tags. This is the Chaser Tacos, 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 size small tank top. New with tags. This is a Chaser Pink Floyd band tank, size small. New with tags. And this is a Free People Butterfly Crap. New with tags. It has like this hole underneath detail. Um, and this is a free people tank. Then here are, this is another item for some reason that I found that wasn't listed. It is a new tags Vince Camuto spandex long skirt. Um, this is a personal item of mine that I'm listing. Uh, it is a large 
Teal, Victoria's Secret, Popover. This is another item. This is just in Aviva, which is sold at like Walmart, um, JCPenney, Kohl's, sports bra. Um, it's new. I bought it and um, I, for some reason, didn't look at the tag. It is a 36D and I wear a double D and this one is just too small. And I got it so cheap that I didn't want to return it to the store and deal with the hassle. <laughs> um, this was unlisted. Um, this was from a fill bag sale that I did a while back ago, like a couple months ago. And this wasn't listed. It is a Free People Extra Small um, Knit Tank Top. This is an item that I had in my non-listed pile because I needed the button sewn back on and I fixed it. So this is, uh, it's called heirloom. And if you ever see this tag, um, like heirloom, like sewing machine, sometimes it has that on it. Um, or it has like a needle and thread and a sewing machine. Um, it is free people. Um, this one actually says FP at the top. And it has these super weird toggle buttons that look almost like uh, like those conch necklaces that used to be really popular in the 90s. Um, that's what the buttons are. Um, this is a Harley Davidson size medium tank. And as I said, I worked for Harley Davidson for six years, so I have a lot of stuff. Um, this was a limited edition and tank top. It's called... The kick-ass iron and it actually says kick-ass iron on there um tank top um and i did have to note this on there i actually bought this from our store and then there were several of them that were like this the harley davidson made in the usa um tag was sewn upside down it's like a defect um, some of them were like that, so I did put it on the listing. I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's just right here, down at the bottom. Um, but this tank top retailed for $75 because it is the Made in the USA, and it's one of the um, ones that they only... These Made in the USA um, limited edition ones, they... Every dealership got one size run, which was small, medium, large, extra large, and they only got one of each item, and then they were gone. Um, um, this is the last item, and it's from my personal closet as well. It's just a Maurice's tank top with the cutout sides. Um, it is a size medium, and I don't think it was ever worn.